recently I had the idea that I wanted to try some new snacks because I love snacks. I love snacks of all different flavors, sweet snacks, savory snacks, salty snacks, all, all that goodness. So I figured I might try and order some snacks from Japan. Uh, one thing I did not think of uh, when I ordered snacks from Japan is that I cannot read Japanese and obviously all of the writing is in Japanese except for some odd little bits of English. So I figured why not try some of these mystery snacks on camera. Now I have a whole box of these so I picked out uh, four that I think would be fun to try. Uh, so I've got this. Once again, I don't know what any of these are called or, you know, are mm. flavor-wise. So I got like a whole bunch of these in the box. Um, so I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure from the weight, they're very, very light. I'm pretty sure that there's some kind of rice, like puffed rice or something like that. Um, this I'm very excited to try because it is also very light. Like this is, it weighs like nothing. Uh, but from the color and stuff, I have no idea if it's going to be sweet or savory. So, pretty interesting. Uh, and then I have two that I'm, I, I have a pretty good idea of what they're going to be. Some kind of either strawberry marshmallow or other kind of, you know, squishy snack. And a chocolate chip cookie vanilla. Uh, which I figured would just be a tasty way to end this list. <laughs> mystery one and I have no idea what it is and I'll probably get an idea of what flavor it is after I open it up and can actually smell it so let's see well that actually doesn't it doesn't provide as much information as I thought it was I think it smells a little chocolatey just a little bit hmm. but it could be just savory I'm not expecting that. I, th I was expecting it to be the same kind of thing, so I think it is like chocolate covered. A very thin layer of chocolate, but just enough to give it a little bit of flavor. Not bad. Not something I would like go out of my way to buy, but it is a fun snack. Very fun. Well, I left. <laughs> My mouth kind of clear out from that taste, but I think I will try this one next. I do recognize this character, although I do not know the name. I know that he's just, uh, he's, he's existed for quite a while and he's very popular for a bunch of, you know, branding and stuff in Japan. But he's also like a cartoon character. Let me try open up this one. Oh, it is. Oh, it's some kind of like crunchy. Oh, it is. It's a savory snack. I was hoping to get at least one savory snack. Let me try. Wow, that's essentially like a cheese puff, but like just one big long tube. That's if I was like at a vending machine and I wanted, you know, some yummy snack, I would definitely buy one of these. These are very good. Yeah. Reminds me a little bit of like a puffed Cheeto, but I'm not a big fan of puffed Cheetos, but I do like kind of that puffed snack. Uh, but so these are very good. It's actually hollow in the middle a little bit, which is very fun. Makes it a lot like kind of more crunchy and fluffy. Snack. That is, I see why they included a lot of these in the box because this is a very good snack. So 
if I was originally going to eat this little cookie last, but I think I want to try it next with I'm hoping it might be kind of a, something a little special. I think there's like a little chocolate chip kind of broke off. Little cookie. It is a soft cookie, which is very nice. Thinking of like the kind of you know little snack cookies you can get in America, mm. this is definitely better than them. You ever had like a Chips Ahoy or something like that? This is definitely much better than a Chips Ahoy. But I don't really like Chips Ahoy, so it's not that much of a competition. It's what you get when you have like a home baked cookie where it's kind of crunched on the outside, soft on the inside, and that is that is peak cookie in my opinion. Well, I knew I was probably gonna like this little cookie, and was not disappointed. Very soft. I really like that. All right, now I just have this little strawberry marshmallow. I think I assume it's marshmallow. It might be something else. But we shall see. Oh yeah, definitely strawberry flavored. I do love strawberry flavoring. Like, I love real strawberries, obviously. Real strawberries are great. But strawberry flavoring, like that very kind of candy strawberry flavor, is like just, I love it. Mm. I think it's like mochi, actually. I've had mochi ice cream before, obviously. But this is so much nicer than that. It's like marshmallow and then mochi on the inside. Or it's mochi with like, mm, like kind of flavoring on the inside. This is really good. I'm glad I saved this one for last. It is very good. Definitely something you cannot get in the United States. Or at least would be you'd have to find it at some kind of specialty store. That that was very good. So that concludes my little taste test of all these snacks. I have a whole box of these, so I might do another one of these taste tests. Uh, I have a bunch of other ones I really want to try. I'll probably eat some more often as well because especially that kind of cheese doodle stick very tasty uh, but I want to do a rating for each of them I have to say that the strawberry kind of mochi marshmallow I, I, I'm hesitant to give anything a 10 out of 10 but that was really good. That was that was soft, it was tasty, it had that kind of strawberry flavor, but it wasn't like too overpowering. Very good. So I'm I'm gonna have to give that one a 10 out of 10. That is that was very good. Uh, kind of next up of like the one I really liked, uh, that would have to be the kind of cheese doodle one. I would say I'll say an eight. An eight out of ten, definitely. You know, I think. It was good, but not that kind of perfect good that that mochi strawberry was. Uh, and then going down the list of things I like, definitely the cookie. Very strong contender. I would say that would also be, like, I would say maybe a seven or so. Or how about I bump the, the um, kind of cheese doodle, cheese doodle stick up to like a nine, and the cookie is an eight, because that was also very good, just because Compared to what you can get in the States, definitely better than any kind of quick cookie option. Uh, you'd have to either go to somewhere that sells baked, like fresh baked cookies, not anything that is, you know, in a package. Uh, and then kind of my least favorite, well, but I was the most excited to taste, was that first kind of crunchy chocolate thing. Definitely wasn't bad, but I think it was really just kind of middling, so I'll give that one a five, just because it wasn't super great, it wasn't super bad, it was just kind of a 